All right, what's going on everybody? This is Jeff with DIY TV. Today we are going to learn how to record on a Mac using QuickTime. So I recommend QuickTime. It's the easiest, simplest, out of the box solution to doing the very basic screen recordings, movie recordings, or any sort of recordings. There's three different functionalities. In fact, I'm doing a screen recording right now using QuickTime. So what you do is you go install QuickTime on Mac, a Mac. So you go right here on Google, you type that, and this will come up. You want the one that says support.apple. So you click this, and it will tell you if it's 10.6.3 or later, right? So you need to go all the way up to your little Apple uh, recording icon, right? I don't think I can move this actually, but you know where the little recording or the little Apple is in the top left and you do system preferences, or I mean, I'm sorry, about this Mac. And about this Mac, it will tell you what version you're using, right? And so you can see right here, I'm using 10.14.1 Mac OS Mojave. And so I wanna make sure that it's compatible with this. So I'm using 10.7, right? Or 10.14, and it says this is for 10.6, so I know that I'm good, right? For those of you who don't know what that means, um, the next number would be 10.7, 10.8, 10.9, all the way up to 10.14, which is the one I'm using. Okay, so that's the very basics. Now, once you've actually downloaded this and you've installed it onto your computer, you're then going to see at the very bottom of your screen, you're going to see where it's going to say QuickTime, and you are going to pop that up. And you can see right here, I'm recording, so it's asking me if I wanna stop my recording, or, um, you know, I would have to stop this recording so that I could do another thing. Like I could just record only audio, just me talking, or I could do a new screen recording, or I could do a new movie recording, right? New movie is where the camera, the webcam on the computer is recording me talking, okay? And all of that. And that, that's very basic, right? So it's not too complicated. There's another video on this actual channel that addresses how to use different mics for QuickTime, okay? But this is just how to download and do screen recordings or any recording on a Mac, the very simple way. There's other solutions that you can try. I've got ScreenFlow 8. If you were to go into my apps, you would see that I have ScreenFlow 8. That's for a little bit more advanced people. You can see ScreenFlow 8. I don't know if I turn that on, if it's gonna affect anything. Oh, you can even see me right here, look. But this is the more advanced version, right? Okay, so if you wanted to take it to the next level with the more advanced version, that was what you would download. But this does cost money. It's not the free version. Um, but you can see here, it does have multiple different things. If I had a different webcam, I could do that. If I had a different uh, microphone, I could do that. I could add a different microphone. You know, I can do all sorts of different configurations on this. And um, that's basically uh, what you'd be looking at, right? Okay. So anyways, I'm gonna exit out of that and I'm going to stop this recording and I'm gonna go right here, stop recording and we'll see you guys later. Hope this video helped make uh, this process of recording screens or doing any video on a Mac more simple. Like I said, ScreenFlow 8 is the more advanced version.